I don't know if the camera did that justice, but that was probably the hardest track that we've had thus far in the band. Super fun and super capable rig. Friends, when we last left you, we had just finished exploring the backside of Mount St. Helens' Windy Ridge. We decided to continue with our trip after our van suffered a major water break, leaving us with no water. So we are packing up, heading to the town of Randall for water, gas, and, and a few other things, and then heading east on Highway 12 to explore the Rimrock Lake area. Here we find the most picturesque high cliff site before finding the perfect spot on the lake. <coughs> I know the camera doesn't reflect it, but this section of trail was pretty challenging. The spaces were tight to navigate with trees on both sides, conveniently next to a big boulder or a dip. Regardless, we love the challenge. Gang, we made it. Uh, it is an epic spot. High hill ridge top again. This was recommended by a friend of ours who's into van life too. Um, but I believe he only has a two wheel drive van and I'm sorry to inform you Ben, this is not two wheel drive territory. In fact, this isn't traditional four wheel drive territory unless you have under armor, a little bit of a lift on yourself. Um, because it's, it was pretty ruddy and uh, you definitely needed to have the uh, tool set to get you out um, if something happened. But Don did a great job spotting me down. We already walked it, picked a line. Um, there's two spots here, so well, there's not just two. Like we could have taken that spot out there, it had a little bit different track out, also would have been kind of fun to drive. But it's like, it's, it's 94 degrees, right? And it's full sun. Um, and we love the heat, but it, it is hot. So we decided to get over on this side of the ridge. Um, so we're gonna put our dragonfly awning out. We have the trees here to help protect us a little bit. Um, so as the sun sets, hopefully we stay cool um, during this time, but really, really fun opportunity here. Um, the plan here is to stay for a night and then we're gonna hopefully find a river spot tomorrow. That, that's the plan, we'll see what happens. If you 
nice left amazing up on this ridge line here um, or this high meadow um, overlook just really great it was like as a reminder it was like nearly a hundred degrees up here um, yesterday and we kind of nuzzled in along the ponderosa pines a little bit put out our awning had all our fans on and it felt really cool in there uh, way cooler than out on that point which i'm glad we didn't take uh, so this morning here's what i think we're going to do we're going to kind of get up make a leisurely uh, attempt at coffee and breakfast um, hope for for nice vista uh, view then we'll slowly get packed up make our way out um, trying to find some water spots today Technically, tonight's going to be our last night, even though we actually have one more night of the Labor Day weekend, but we'd like to get home a little bit early if we can, um, just to get unwind and get ready for the work week. So there's some spots that I know on the lake, which are probably really packed out, and there's some spots down here on the river that we might look at. Otherwise, we might find some spots on a different river somewhere. We just don't know yet. Um, but we'll take you with us, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, beautiful. You see everywhere This bridge is made of home This bridge is made of home is
Let me get up high. There we go. So just quick update, Don and I are in some sort of dispersed camping area of the Wenatchee National Forest right on a lake. A lot of the cool spots, they boulder off. Like I could get down, I could get down there. Really get down there. <laughs> I could get down there and make that work. We could do that, yeah. Maybe. Should we? Oh yeah, a spot down there, it'd be amazing. Funny story, we're going down this road and Dawn's like, <gasps> and she saw this big black critter and it was a cow. <laughs> but for a second, so sad. we thought it was a bear. <laughs> when it first presented, it looked like its shoulders were down and its head was down. We just want to see wild. We just wanted a, a cow. Hey, the cow was wild, free range wild. <laughs> gang after our little parking thing what well, it's, it's like parkour getting down now <laughs> after being up on this side here so a little different okay. spot yep gonna work let's show you where we're at windy out i'm gonna talk back here before we go uh so i want to show you where we kind of landed we're in a recreational area that's on that lake that we were looking at from that high ridge point earlier Obviously more people here because this is like a national forest recreational area. But we kind of found like this little void right on the lake that we saw um, with some beach access, which we thought would be a great way to finish up this uh, adventure. Some coffee out there on the beach in the morning sounds great. Uh, maybe watching the sunset. But yeah, let's check it out. There could be worse places to be. Guys, a little recap from the beach. Um, we've had some snacks. It is still very windy out there. I flew the drone a little bit. Um, this is our relaxing day. We've been kind of hiking a little bit and doing other things as we're traveling. So this is just kind of being a little bit more lazy. Really nice, still nice. Look at that. Beautiful.
That's going to do it for this location and this adventure. But we're going to recap on the road a little bit further, just talk about all the fun stuff we did and a little bit about this trip and our next trip. Stay with us. All right, so Don, as we were getting ready to leave the little spot that we're at, the recreation, we decided it's, it's like a giant island, but it's got like a little entryway, so it's not really an island, but it has some higher trails. And we just got on this one. Look at the view. We're way up high on the lake yeah. now. Above where we were yesterday. Yeah, and, and we're, this is such a cool spot. <laughs> it's the end of the road. I'm glad we actually checked this out. There's so much more Thank here. You to look at than we thought. Yeah, highly recommend this place uh, for coming back. And we'll be coming back here for sure to explore and we'll keep this as options now that, we're no, now that we know that they're here. Really cool stuff. All right, so we are still on that road. We, we walked up this one. There was a tree just blocking the last 20 feet up to it. Big tree, which we'd have to cut out. But you can drive right up to here. Can you imagine having your coffee right here? Look at that view. So warm. My goodness. Really cool. Very cool spot, guys. We will come back here and uh, use this as for sure an overnight spot. It's really got, it offers so much, so much. Really neat. Well, that's going to do it for our Mount St. Helens Labor Day trip. Dawn and I had just the best time not knowing where we'd be going or what we would be doing that day. We plan on exploring this area even more over the next few years. Coming up with our next adventure, I find myself finally being able to reach the ridge that overlooks Mount Olympus. And boy, was it worth the wait. If you like this video, please give it a like. I would love to hear a comment on any part you liked or wanted further information on. Lastly, please consider subscribing to our channel. We post videos every week. Our goal is to reach 500 subscribers so that we can start our community post. And until next week, I hope we see you on the trail. Thank you.